I swear, Nike are the biggest trolls. Like, I feel like they just don't want to give us what we want. They gave us a masterpiece in these. And even the 2.0s are great. I'll even say the satins are fire. And then they gave us these. Yo, what's going on with your YouTube? Jump and Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another vid. Now, what we have here today, bam, that's right. And these are the shat. No, it's not shattered. They're electro orange. That's what the official name is, I believe. Electro, electro orange, le electric orange, whatever it is. Well, you already know. When we saw a mock up picture of these things, basically, I thought these things were going to be like the shattered 4.0s. In the colorway we saw on the mock-up pictures, you know, a few months back in 2020, which I was really excited for, I thought was, these things were going to be basically like, you know, like the, the black toe of the sh of the Shattered's, you know. Nike should already know, if you're going to put orange on an Air Jordan 1, we're automatically going to think of Shattered. You know, Shattered, the standard, the GOAT, my goodness, you know, everyone loves these things. Everyone, these are the standard, what everyone always call it, is a Shattered back for quality, you know. And now that we have this color blocking, First of all, I just want to say is, it's not a bad shoe by any means. I still think it's actually okay. It's cool. You know what I mean? Just a little disappointed of the color blocking, you know? Because this all white here, not really feeling it. Gonna keep it 100. Um, they should have, who, who thought of the orange up here and all this white, you know? Like, I feel like they just missed the ball. Like, this could have been a home run hitter. People went, went crazy, you know, pitchforks and everything. Right. Nah, they probably didn't want that. But it would have been mad crazy. If they, all they would have did was kept this black here and made this orange. That's all they had to do is made this orange, made this black. Hell, just make this whole whole damn part right here orange. That would have been fine. But this whole white blocking, you guys tell me how you guys feel about that. Me personally, I'm still, I still like the shoe. It's, you know, I, I'm probably end up copping on release day. I believe the release day is sometime in July 17th, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm trying to give you guys this one month uh, early review for you guys. Yeah, anyways, uh, let's just, it's an Air Jordan 1. You know, it's gonna be hyped up. Of course, it's probably gonna end up sell out, selling out as well. People are probably gonna end up taking L's, but I think these Air Jordan 1's gonna fall in the same line as some of the Air Jordan 1's that we've been getting for the past few releases, like the all white core purples, and the fusions stuff like that like you know it's an air joint that sells out but at the end of the day they might not be going for much you know it's the hype's not gonna be going crazy because let's keep it 100 man i don't think a lot of people's really feeling this color blocking someone can come out with a really dope custom you know well if they want to go ahead and make this into a shattered 4.0 and do it right i really i just hate to compare it but like us like i said every time if it's an air joint one you put orange on it people's gonna automatically think uh shattered that's how I feel about it, but still, hey. But uh, let's just go ahead, let's uh, get into this review real quick, huh? All right, all right, all right. Let's take a quick little 360 of these things here. And like I said, you know, they all right. Let's go to the leather quality here. How is the leather quality? Is it shatter backward quality? No, uh, it's just the same leathers we've been kind of getting uh, for the past Air Jordan ones, just like smooth, decent leather you know what i mean nothing too crazy take a look the the toe box here is this the white it's the white toe with the whole preparation like i said i'm pushing down the leather you guys can the leather you guys can see got the black side panels on the toe box and then onto the side too as well get your black nike swoosh here on the side 
And of course your side panels here is like basically up here is all white, all white. Got your wing logo on the side of the ankles here. And this is this electric orange on the ankle collar. I feel like it's almost like someone almost spray painted because it has like a little shine to it almost like like it's almost iridescent almost. But now it does come with the extra set of laces. Comes with two extra set of laces, as you guys can see. It has the white and it has orange. So inside the sock liner here, you have your black nylon sock liner inside, and then inside the insole is a little different tag here. It has like the Nike Air, of course, but around it has like some type of like outlining of a tag that kind of looks like resembles of something like this, like a tag almost. In the midsole here, you have your white, bright white midsole stitched in. And of course, on the bottom, you have that electric orange iconic Air Jordan 1 outsole with the Nike Air onto the middle. And this orange here is pretty bright. This will probably end up getting dirty. So make sure you get on that Drip Grip sole protector, guys. The best sole protector on the market today. No slippage, no tears, multiple wears. And like I said, you want to keep the outsole nice and clean. So make sure you use my discount code JUMPERMAN10. Save you a little bit of money, guys, and get on that Drip Grip. All right, guys. So there you guys have it. These are the Air Jordan 1 electric orange now do I not like this shoe I don't hate it but you know I'm just a little disappointed I'm, I'll admit that I'm definitely disappointed just because the potential these things could have had and from the mock-up pictures that I was seeing like earlier of you know of, I think last year or some of that you know like last year during last year or early this year and then now that I saw images of these I was kind of okay you know maybe and now that I see these things in hand definitely was just you know they're just like like i said it's just okay it's nothing you know groundbreaking or just one of those like dope colorways that like you just gotta have this is probably one of those shoes most likely i think some people will end up taking w's uh these are going to be running in men in gs size only so no toddlers or preschool size thinking they're going to be a decent amount of stock we'll see i think if you end up getting w's with like the fuchsia and the core purples i think you might end up getting w's but you guys already know all the high beasts and, and resellers probably gonna try to end up trying to eat these things up and then realize these things probably might end up bricking you know uh will these things brick Oh, I think it's gonna be close, man. I think it's gonna be close. They might do decently in price wise when they come out day one, just because, you know, it has a little bit of that orange. It is the Air Jordan 1. You know, it might be okay, but I don't think it's anything crazy. You know, I don't think these things are gonna be above 300, especially day one or even afterwards. They might do better down the long run, but I don't think they're gonna do anything crazy crazy you know um i did get these things early so i had to pay that top dollar to get these things early so i can give this review for you guys so you guys can decide once the release date happens do you guys want to go all in on these things or not no i sounding really terrible and i'm really dogging on a shoe and stuff like that maybe if i'm killing the hype or something like that I'm, I'm not even trying to do that i'm just giving you guys my honest opinion about these things just a little disappointing that's it um it's not a bad shoe by any means quality wise you know they okay Quality wise, just okay. Craftsmanship wise, it's fine. You know, um, just right now, there's been a lot of shoes to come out, and it's been a lot of Air Jordan ones, and a lot of dunks, a lot of releases. I feel like it's back to back releases, and this month of July, it's been kind of dry on releases. So, I guess uh, people probably end up will get kind of excited uh, once it's closer to the release and people's gonna wanna try and end up getting these things and you know, which is fine. I've been noticing a trend lately. I'm not sure maybe because it's colorways or stuff that maybe we're starting to get kind of like Air Jordan 1 fatigue a little bit. I don't know, or it's just, it's a different world now. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's definitely a different world. The market is not what it used to be. It's starting to come, everything's starting to come down to earth again. Like this is just how it used to be back in 2019, you know? The Air Jordan 1 colorways like that are kind of generic, like, you know, the past few releases, they're just doing okay, you know, nothing too crazy. And I think that's what we're about. Uh, if these things would have released during like, you know, stimmy times, yes, this would have been easy, a $300 shoe, no no questions asked. But but right now, it's just a different time. But we'll have to wait and see, you know. Um, but hey, that's pretty much just my opinion on these things, guys. You guys let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. I've been seeing some of the comments uh, when I did unboxing, 
it didn't look like a lot of people were into it i'm just giving you guys my opinion and what i think and yeah but anyway guys that's pretty much in of the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and don't forget to hit that bell for all the notifications for when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me in all my social media at drummer chris on ig sometimes i'm on twitter and don't forget snapchat anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm drummer chris Peace.